Hello and welcome to the U14 Toy Box. I'm your host Rob and this time around uh, I'm going to do a mailbag. Now eventually, hopefully, this will be a segment where I answer questions or maybe comments or feedback from the episodes. But for now, what I'm going to do is show you some stuff I got in the mail. So I know for a fact these are Heroclix. I've half forgotten what they are. So there'll be some elements of surprise for me because one of them was a lot. I'm pretty sure it was this one. Uh, was a lot that I purchased on eBay for a very handsome price. This one is some individual figures I bought from uh, Blue Rat Games. It's a favourite Heroclix retailer of mine. Check them out. Uh, so I'm going to do that for you now. Alright, so this is my uh, pair of parcels here. I've pre-cut them because it's going to be a faff to do otherwise on the camera. So let's start with the known quantity. So we'll go with this one first. <laughs> So these are not necessarily all Civil War OP um, figures, in fact I'm fairly sure some of them aren't. So let's show you what they've got. So I've pre taken the liberty. So lovingly packed, as always, by Blue Rat. Like I say, they really are good. So these are the cards, I'll pop those to one side, because I'd rather show you the figures. Dump that out, I'll reuse those because I'm environmentally conscious and mental. I'm environmental and mental, double whammy. Right, so they've been done off, the uh, styrofoam's been removed off screen because it was really irritating. So here are my five figures. So I'm gonna go through them in detail, uh, show you them individually. So I'm gonna pop them out of the old style boosters. Not so bad, because I haven't bought anything awkward. So I bought the Civil War OP Spider-Man here. I'll let you get a Zoom in on that one. There you go. Cracked it. Look at that. Beautiful, uh, beautiful sculpt. Lovely, lovely colours. And uh, it's got a red base, which I've never had before on a uh, Heroclix figure that I can recall. Um, I do have rather a large collection, so it's entirely possible I've missed that one in my head. Nevertheless, I'm pleased with it. Uh, so a similar sculpt to one of my favourite figures. Uh, this is... Oh, that one was already clicked to one. I like clicking them to one, I don't know why. So the Superman from the World's Finest series. Now this is only a 90 point Superman, but at the same time, I really, really love that sculpt. Next, one of two purchased from my uh, obsession with the Punisher. So I'll actually put him in shot, that would help, wouldn't it? So uh, he's rather nice. What I really like is he's got the Uzi spray going for him as well. Are you serious? Check that out. He's got the uh, the classic Punisher logo on his chest. He's got the Uzi spray, which I'm a big fan. Again, translucent plastic, I'm a massive fan. And he comes in at 80 points. So you may see him pop up in a, in a video very, very soon. So look forward to that. Next, the second of two. Punisher figures. This time he's in, for some reason, a motion capture suit, I guess. Um, I'm not really sure what the story is behind that one. I confess to not being up to speed on the current Marvel Punisher stuff. So, whether there's a reason to it or not. Nonetheless, I need something better for this. There we go. Let's just get a zoomed in there. So you can see the... Uh, the nice motion capture balls. I'm not sure. Again, like I say, it may be a more tactical suit thing. Now this one was only a cheap, cheapy, cheapy purchase, but I really, really just think it's an amazing, amazing sculpt. So this is Sarah Garza from the Nick Fury Agents of Shield set. Came in at less than 30p, but I really, really like that sculpt. Um, she looks awesome, almost like a sort of cyborg, enhanced human kind of character. So I'm really keen to just add her to my order. Mainly because, you know, obviously they come as a five. And I quite like having five to go in my five. It's just a weird compulsion I have. I tend to order things to the five. So here are the cards for each figure. So that's Sarah Garza's card there. I must remember, do apologise for that things keep going out, in and out of weird shot. Um, it's me. I've a new camera set up and I'm still getting used to how it works. So there's the 
Civil War Punisher. Infiltration suit dampeners. Okay, so he's wearing an infiltration suit. That's the explanation for why he looks odd. Uh, and this one, from my understanding, this is um, Spider-Man in a sort of suit that's been built for him by Tony Stark. Hence the colours. And then Punisher. Uh, Civil War again. So I will crack this centering thing. I will. I promise. Next, another time, I will have the uh, the centering thing down, and you'll be able to see much more clearly what I'm actually doing. So here is the second part of my parcels. So this is a an eBay private seller listing. Um, I bought it as a job lot because uh, it had a few things in there that I quite fancied. So I've half, like I say, I've half forgotten some of the stuff that's in here. So I'm going to be excited nonetheless and here we are so first of all we have dr bong uh not personally familiar with the character but you gotta love anything that's got the uh the large plastic backgrounds i have a couple of figures that are like this the new 52 constantine the avengers assemble red skull uh again favorites of mine and uh that one is quite a nifty sculpt and he's 60 points which is none too shabby uh, I also gain Domino. Now I don't think I have this one as a uh, as a figure in a complete sense. I remember once I got one that was in the uh, came from a gravity feed, but it was broken when I opened it. So I think this is actually a first complete one for me, which is always nice. Uh, now this is a nice one. So I have Wolverine, Agent of Hydra. So he's quite nifty um he's 90 points so for this set he packs a pretty good punch um alliteration is awesome and uh i don't actually have a wolverine um his dial's a little bit let's see there a little bit loose but it still turns and it's not looking like it's falling out as i'm doing it so i can and they're easily fixed as well so actually oh that's handy they've actually uh labeled them underneath that's very clever of you i guess uh, another domino but this is a different variant from the uh, this is from the boosters and the one I just unwrapped a minute ago is from the gravity feed nonetheless pretty nifty she's 89 points so again none too shabby uh, I got a Deadpool word balloon which reads oh come on that was cool and explodey so I always like the Deadpool word balloons I have a Deadpool this is one of the ones I'm really keen to get this is actually the reason I bought the lot was because it contains a Thunderbolts Punisher, the red, the red uh, skull logo, and he's 100 points. And from all accounts, he packs a pretty hefty wallop in a game. So I'm pleased about acquiring him. So this is Bill, agent of AIM. I don't know what AIM is. I'm somewhat of a noob when it comes to certain elements of the comic books, but he looks. He looks positive, doesn't he? Looks like he's got the uh, the whole Buddy Christ thing going in his favour. He's 30 points, so he doesn't look like he's going to be killing anybody anytime soon. Now, here comes the fun part. Deadpool in the X-Men blue and yellow. So this is another reason I was keen to, uh, to get this set, uh, because of the presence of this particular Deadpool figure um, I have a Deadpool in the normal red and black but I wanted this one if I could get hold of it cheap uh, and I can only assure you that this lot was especially cheap so I'll just sort of line them up so you can see there so all in all really a pretty productive mailbag haul uh, the seller has lovingly packed them together the, uh, the cards in one of those protective card sleeves that you can get for popular trading card games like Magic, Yu-Gi-Oh, the Pokemon card game, that sort of thing, so that's always appreciated, so I'll be leaving good feedback for that, uh, as it's an eBay listing that I particularly purchased, other auction sites are available, but none too good for Heroclix, so here are all my new cards to add to my set we have got the different ones there uh, I'm looking forward to finding out what I can use in certain games more on that later so there we go well a productive day indeed for the postal service earning their keep and also for me acquiring more nice clicks for my collection so thank you very much for watching the e14 toy box i've been your host rob bye for now